Hello everyone, good to see you again. Today I'm gonna make something really, really delicious. So delicious you're gonna wanna eat your fingers after when you're done. Um, Cause there won't be any left very quickly. It's vegetarian dish. Um, I'm using whatever vegetables I have in the fridge. I'm making a zucchini, some king oyster mushroom, some green beans, some onion, garlic, weary weary pepper. I'm using a um, large can that's 800 milliliters of crushed tomatoes. That's 28 ounces. I'm using six ounces of tomato paste, about a cup and a half of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of cider vinegar. I am going, okay, the, the zest and the juice of a lemon, about a head of garlic, three onions, four herbs. I'm using a tablespoon of dried cilantro leaves, uh, about a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of dried thyme leaves, a tablespoon of dried oregano leaves, one tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of red sweet paprika, salt and pepper to taste, of course. And with that, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do everything. I'm making dumplings that um, I'm going to boil in here in this water, like sort of like a pasta almost, with my sourdough. And for that, I'm just using two cups of flour, regular unbleached flour right here. And I'm going to add my sourdough starter because I need to use the sourdough. So I'm thinking of things that we're gonna use with it all the time. And we have lots of ideas for the sourdough starter. Next time, I think I'm gonna fry some and I'm sure that's gonna be, let that, I'm gonna mix that real quick and let that sit. And then we're gonna make dumplings with it. Very quickly, very easy. And our, our starter dough is very much alive so it doesn't take long to, to start working. That's the good thing about it. So, so we're gonna fix that until it's doughy and We'll, we'll start using it. In the meantime, I'm going to start working on my vegetables. So, and this is gonna be an oil-based garlic, onion, herbs, and oil-based dish. And with that, you're gonna eat that with our toasted, crusty, beautiful sourdough bread that we make right here. And see the video for that. So I'm going to start chopping up my vegetables. I will turn the heat on. Put my oil in and start cooking. Again, this is an oil-based dish. So this is how, this is a very old-fashioned, very, very old-fashioned, old-style cooking that they used to do in the old days. This is how our ancestors used to cook. Of course, they didn't have the fancy stainless steel pots, but the food tasted just as delicious. Roughly chopped again. Some people like to put their onions first in the oil. I personally like to put the garlic first. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but let the oil soak that flavor. And for the lemon, we're gonna use the zest of the lemon and then the juice as well.
Next, I will put my one pound of oyster mushrooms. I'm gonna again ch roughly chop it. My vinegar is flying away. Et voila. Look at this, fantastic. And I promise you, this is going to be one of those dishes that is so delicious and so full of flavor that you're gonna want it every day. And it looks like it's a lot of work, but it's not. Just make sure we use all our delicious oyster mushroom. And our green beans, the very good quality green beans. Just gonna chop them like this, about an inch, an inch and a quarter, like that, like so. And drop them in. You don't have to put the spicy pepper, but we're using two weary, weary peppers in here as well. And again, I'm gonna coat them with all the seeds and everything because we like the heat, we welcome the heat, we love the heat. And these, I'm gonna again chop them up. It's not an exact science. Mm, once I drop that weary, weary pepper, the smell is out of the store. Already I smell. how fast our starter dough starts working. Unbelievable. I think we are very lucky to have this sourdough starter here because the environment here seems to be very, very fitting for it. It does very well. And if I want it to be a little more wet than that, I just add a little more. And I think this will be fine. I just have to knead it a little more. And then I'm gonna roll it out and cut it in strips and drop it in the boiling water and add it to my 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 dish. Maybe I'll fry it first. Maybe I'll boil it and fry it a little bit 
and then add it. I think that would be awesome. Yes, I think that's what I'm gonna do. See? We have great ideas as we go. We're getting inspired. Look at this fantastic book. Yeah, it's already reacting very well. So I'm just gonna put it there, let it rest a little bit, and soon it will be ready. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go wash my hands. I'm gonna start adding my zucchini. Look at this. This is fantastic. See how wonderful that looks. And this is a completely vegetarian dish. With enough flavor, you'll never need to add meat to it. So, so, so delicious. How do I know that? Mmm, that's my secret. Now I'm just gonna add the rest of my herbs. Garlic, cilantro, dried oregano leaves, that's garlic powder, dried cilantro leaves, dried thyme leaves, dried oregano leaves, cumin and red paprika, and enough seasoning. Plenty of salt and pepper, but not too salty. Enough seasoning for you, but I believe I need a little more pepper. In it. I'm gonna use some of my fresh cracked pepper. Mm, look at that. I've had it on high so far. I can lower it to medium. I don't need to have it on high all the time. And I'm gonna add my tomato paste first. And then I'll add tomatoes. Once the tomato paste is all mixed in properly, and then I'll add my tomatoes, like so. Can you smell that? Mm. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this one. Now again, don't forget, season to taste. Make sure you have enough salt and pepper, not too much and not too little, so you will enjoy it. Now I'm adding my crushed tomatoes. That's just pure crushed tomatoes, that's all it is. And I'm gonna let that simmer. Fire is too high, lower it a bit. Go to center. Doesn't it look luscious? Look at this. So this is a veggie. Now I'm gonna zest my lemon and I'll squeeze the lemon inside there. All of it. This is a beautiful, beautiful cleaner that I use for zesting this. It works perfectly. And it can go either way. And it's very sharp, so please be careful. If you have one of these, be careful. You can also use a knife to zest, like just as long as you don't have any of the white, you don't need a zester like this. You can still use the zest.
And after I do this, I'm going to taste for seasoning. I want to make sure there's enough salt in there because I may need to add a little more salt. And we're using kosher salt and black pepper. First, let me taste it for, for seasoning. Make sure it has enough salt. Perfect. Yes, I'm gonna let that simmer. On to the dumplings. Letting our beautiful vegetables simmer in my dough. Look at this. When did I make this? Maybe 15 minutes ago, not even. This is how alive our mother is, or our sourdough starter, what we call our mother. And we're gonna make, well, I'm gonna be careful with the knife, I'm gonna roll it and cut it into pieces. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the boiling water here until it floats. And then I'm gonna saute it a little bit of clarified butter and olive oil. And we're gonna use that with our dish. So it's gonna be satisfying in every sense. And delicious. Gonna ruin this out a little bit. We're not baking bread, so we don't need to let this sit too long. Now, in the old days, I have to explain something. They used to have meat base, oil base, water base cooking. This is an oil base cooking, but we're using olive oil, so it's healthy and delicious. simple dumplings. If you want you can shape them whatever you like or just leave them as they are like that or leave them flat or round whichever you prefer. Yes, we did clean our board and we got a clean knife. So our water is boiling here. I'm gonna start dumping in the water. Just like that. It's on high. There we go. And we'll wait till they float and then we'll put them in there. I've already turned on the heat on that. I'm just going to add my fat. And these are going to grow a little bit. Or a lot.
Now why I'm putting oil and butter so the butter doesn't burn. That's why. And they will taste great together. Let's blend it. These are fantastic dumplings. I'm just going to get the container for them. They're going to go from in here. Also, I'm going to add my vinegar. Simmer for a little bit more. That's perfect. This is on low heat. It's gonna, we're gonna let it simmer until all the vegetables are nice and soft. That's all we need. And here. There is no way to avoid all this splatter, so because it's coming from the water into the oil. It's okay, we'll clean up after. Come look at this. Homemade food the old-fashioned way. And those little bits that got stuck in the bottom, they'll, they'll come out. Don't worry. dish is almost done. Now I'm not sure what to call this dish yet. I'm using old world technique to cook it, but I just made it up. So I have to find a good name for it. I know one thing for sure, it's going to be delicious. Our dumplings, this is the last of our dumplings. 
They're done. I let these brown a little bit more. I'm gonna turn the fire off. And I'm gonna turn the fire off of here as well. Because it's all done. And I'm gonna pour myself a little plate. See how nice and brown they are. Look at that. And these, when they're dipped into this, it's going to be heavenly. Satisfying, filling. Vegetarian, you don't need any meat for it. And just pure, pure, absolute deliciousness on a plate. All veggies. And all healthy. I'll see you at the table. Every last bit. No waste. Oh, you don't want to waste this. There we go. Perfect. With this, it's got a lot of big, bold, delicious flavors. I opened a bottle of Big Head 2017. It's a Niagara bottle. It's got big flavor too, and I'm gonna enjoy these together. Big flavor wine, big flavor vegetarian veggies dish, which I still haven't figured out a name for. Maybe you can help me with that. If you do have any ideas about what to call this, please do. Let me know. Let me taste this wine. That's a 2017 VQA Big Head. Oh, that is good. That's going to be so good with this. Now, as I promised, there's a slice of our crusty sourdough bread. And of course, just because I promised, I had to take this out. The dumplings are going to be delicious with this. Mm. Mm. Unbelievably delicious. I never thought vegetarian food could have so much flavor. And I believe I'll be addicted to this. You will too. So, so many good flavors in there. Robust, full body, just like the wine. Very tasty. Let me take another bite. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh God, I wish you were here. This is amazing. Please do give this a try. Like, subscribe, and share our videos. Thank you for watching. We always thank you for watching. And we appreciate it when you like, subscribe, and, and share the videos. And until next time, and I hope it won't be long from now, I will create something else just as good as this. Who knows? See you soon. Bye for now.